What's going on Deep Dive Spear Crew? Brock here doing a little voiceover. This is a short this and that video. Here's uh, where I've started to come back to the hole where the vent was for the in intake on the uh, inboard. So I'm taking some epoxy based uh, bearing filler and filling in some of these holes. I had already filled them with thickened resin and I'm coming in with this fairing filler, just trying to get everything leveled out. Pushing it deep into the hole so I can make sure that it's plugging it correctly. And the plan is I'll come back and sand this down and uh, check it, make sure this even with the surroundings. And then if necessary, I'll put a little bit more in, sand it down, uh, clean it off to make sure there's no amine blush and I'll come back with some gel coat and put a couple coats of gel coat on this just trying to blend it in seal it up i'm going to paint the boat so it doesn't have to be an exact match see at this point i'd gotten some acetone put it on a rag and i was cleaning off my tool just trying to get the excess off. The more you can get off, I mean, less sanding later. Just trying to clean the edges up. point I turned my attention to the larger hole. Previous video I had already taken some Luan, covered it in chop strand and used it as backing to seal that, cover that hole up. So I'm taking the fairing filler, filling the hole in and you'll see later that I take a spackling knife that's large enough to cover the entire hole and I'll try to smooth it out. So I'm just kind of let this play, let you watch. So I got a spackling knife, putty knife, and it rode just on the outside of the hole so it could get a good, slick, even finish. I take, I'd sanded this down and made some beveled edges so that it's kind of concave where the gel coat stops. And so that'll give me a little bit of uh, gap to come back in and fill in with gel coat and sand it down, get everything pretty close so that uh, it'd be a slick finish and for painting later. see with each pass I'll take an acetone laden rag and clean my putty knife off just trying to get the excess fairing filler off. This is several days later and I'd come back to sand this down. You can see I take the palm sander and sand it down. Moving on to the back on the transom, there's a lot of areas back here where holes are in there in the transom and so I need to sand down, sand the gel coat around each hole and bevel it in so that I can do the same thing, use fairing filler to fill those holes. There are just tons of holes in the transom and see pretty <clears throat> So what I'll do is just take that uh, one inch belt sander and you'll actually see me remove the gel coat around the hole creating a bevel so that I can fill the holes in and use some chop strand to cover the holes up. 
Right here, I'm just trying to bevel in the edges of the hole where the outdrive came out. And so I'll come back in, add a few more layers of 1708 right here, building it up and layer that transom out at some point.